That looks like the bat signal for stoners. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is just that. It's an indie review for Young Troubled Minds' new EP, Short Days, Long Nights. Now these guys are from Cleveland, Ohio, and they're made up of three members. There's DJ Dirty, and then there's the two brothers, AU and Pro Young. Now they mix, write, master, produce, just do everything when it comes to their music, so they have full creative control and overall this EP has a very high quality sound to it so clearly they know what they're doing. Now as far as this release goes, it's going to be coming out on December 4th through Tradio. And Tradio is a new app that is described as the artist accelerator because what they do is help new artists reach new goals and new people. So if you're an indie artist, I know some of you out there are, you might want to hit up that website and check it out. So I put that link underneath this video and of course I put Young Troubled Minds link underneath this video too. All their links, there's a bunch of them so you can check them out and click which ones you're interested in. Now this EP starts off with the song Daybreak, and this song is all about hustling before the birds are up chirping. So really, there's not a whole lot that's new here with the content, as it mostly just revolves around that basic type of stuff. Smoking some weed, trying to make money, hustling, trying to clear up some bills and debt, just that sort of thing. And the production here is nothing that's out of the ordinary really either, it's just a synth banger, but it does fit the overall feel of the track, and it's not a bad song, it's just not something that would make or break an album. But the second song, Drive Home, is a little bit more interesting. I really like the production here because it's smooth and wavy with some electric guitar on it. And all the bars here, which are built around the idea of being paranoid when you see police, are delivered in this nice sing-songy flow. So I really liked how they had that mellow vibe there. And it's much different from the first song, Daybreak. And the last song, Old Street, that one is on some boom bap grimy 90s golden era type of shit. So all three of these songs have a different sound and I think it's pretty impressive how they did that because it's not always easy to showcase your versatility with just three songs but I think Young Troubled Minds definitely did that on this EP. Now Old Street also has some of this EP's better bars because I like that line about dodging people like LeBron does with his hop step and there are some bars here about keeping it real, about not chasing fame but just trying to stay true to yourself. So I appreciate that and it's cool how they handle all their music by themselves and are trying to keep it real. They're not out here just bullshitting, trying to get ahead and get famous. They clearly do it for the love. There's also a reference to Nas's classic track, The World Is Yours, on this song as well, and that adds to the overall classic hip-hop feel that Old Street has going on. And really, I thought this was a dope EP. I mean, it's hard to fully gauge a group or an artist just off three tracks, but like I said, they showed their versatility here, all three tracks are quality, so I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Now the reason I don't go any higher than that is because there's nothing that's too new here. There wasn't anything that was overly original and experimental and I think I would need to hear more songs from them and a full project before I could really give them a much higher rating. But that's just what I thought about it. Check them out for yourself. All the links and information are underneath this video. And also make sure you check Tradio, the Artist Accelerator. That might be of use to some of you because I know a lot of indie artists watch my reviews. Also make sure you do that good YouTube and social media stuff where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 10K. Thank you for watching and supporting you guys. I'll see you next time.